The world of robotics has just taken a massive leap into the uncanny valley, and maybe a little too deep for comfort, from robots that sweat, flex muscles, and throw punches, to humanoid machines preparing for a half marathon alongside real human runners. The line between human and robot is blurring fast, and all of this has happened within just the past few days. If you're into AI, robotics, or just curious about where tech is headed, buckle up, because this week was a wild ride. Clone Robotics unveils Protoclone, a muscle-flexing android. Let's start with Clone Robotics. Robotics, the company that previously stunned audiences with its hyper-realistic robotic torso. They're back at it again, and this time they've gone full body with a new creation they're calling the Protoclone. This isn't your average android. The Protoclone is Clone's first full-body, musculoskeletal humanoid robot designed to mimic human anatomy as closely as possible. From the outside in, this machine is meant to move and function like a real person. It's built with a polymer-based skeleton that mirrors nearly all 206 human bones, albeit with a few fusions for practicality. The internal structure alone is a marvel, but what truly sets it apart is what powers it. To give this machine motion, Clone Robotics has equipped it with over 1,000 artificial muscles called myofibers. These are fluid-powered actuators that behave much like McKibben muscles, expanding and contracting in ways that closely replicate how our own muscles work. This system allows the protoclone a remarkable 200 degrees of freedom, enabling it to twist, bend, and stretch in highly human-like ways. But movement isn't everything. For a robot to be truly humanoid, it needs perception and control. Protoclone is packed with more than 500 sensors, including depth cameras, pressure sensors, and inertial measurement units. These work together to help the robot interpret its environment and respond in real time. The faceless factor, sleek, or creepy. Interestingly, the protoclone doesn't have a face, just a smooth black visor where a human face would normally be. This design choice has sparked mixed reactions. Some appreciate the sleek sci-fi aesthetic, saying it avoids the disturbing uncanny valley effect. Others, however, find the faceless look even more unsettling. A blank-eyed, expressionless figure that somehow feels more alien than Android. And then there's the cooling system, which is also turning heads. Clone Robotics is experimenting with a water-based cooling mechanism. This system is, in theory, akin to a robot that sweats, releasing excess heat generated by the constant muscle-like contractions. While it may sound bizarre, it's an innovative solution to the age-old challenge of managing heat in high-performance robotics. At the moment, the protoclone is powered using pneumatics, but Clone has plans to shift toward hydraulics in future iterations. The goal is to improve efficiency and potentially reduce noise, crucial factors if these robots are to operate autonomously in domestic or industrial settings. Not everyone's impressed. Realism versus reality. Despite the buzz, not everyone is sold on Protoclone. Critics online have pointed out that the robot can't stand or walk independently yet. Most demos show it suspended from overhead rigs, giving the impression that it's more puppet than powerhouse. One sarcastic commenter even joked that the power cord placement made it look like a marionette on life support. Still, even skeptics acknowledge that it's a step forward, particularly in exploring alternative actuation methods. Most robots today rely on traditional electric motors. Clone's fluid-based approach may unlock new possibilities, especially for tasks requiring lifelike motion and adaptability. Discussions on Reddit and other tech forums are lively. Some people are drawing comparisons to Westworld, worrying that this kind of ultra-realistic humanoid could lead us down a dystopian path. Others see it as an exciting leap forward in robotics design, especially since the human-like build allows robots to function better in environments designed for us, such as homes, offices, and warehouses. Unitary Robotics plans a robot boxing match. As if things weren't surreal enough, another robotics company, Unitary Robotics, is preparing for a live robot boxing match. Yes, you read that right. Unitary has begun promoting what they're calling Unitary Iron Fist King Awakening, an event where two humanoid robots will step into the ring. In a teaser video, their smaller humanoid model, the G1, which stands at about 1.32 meters tall, is shown sparring with a human and another G1 bot. The movements are far from smooth, but there's one standout feature, the bots can get back up after being knocked down. That's impressive, considering how difficult it is to achieve stable bipedal motion. Right now, the biggest hurdles seem to be reaction time and balance. The robots don't dodge punches effectively yet, and recovery after a hit is slow and clunky. However, Unitary claims it is working on improving the G1's full body motion using motion capture datasets, teaching the bots not just to fight, but to dance and perform martial arts moves like Kung Fu. While many people are skeptical, others are just excited to see the show, even if it turns out to be more comedy than combat. A humanoid half marathon. Humans and robots hit the pavement. If boxing bots weren't enough to amaze you, try picturing humanoid robots running a 21.0975 km half marathon next to real people. This isn't science fiction. It's happening next year at the 2025 Beijing E-Town Half Marathon and Humanoid Robot Half Marathon. The event is scheduled for April 13th.
以吗？And it already has over 30,000 human participants signed up. Alongside them will be humanoid robots from universities, research institutions, and tech companies. Of course, there will be physical barriers on the race course to prevent accidental collisions. Robots will also follow separate completion standards since most still can't match human speed or endurance. But don't underestimate them. Some prototypes are reportedly hitting speeds of up to 12 kilometers per h, which is no small feat for bipedal robots. To survive the race, many robots will be equipped with shock absorbers and even custom running shoes since slamming metal feet into concrete for over 21 kilometers can wreak havoc on their joints and chassis. According to Li Kuan, a director at the Beijing E-Town Committee, the purpose isn't just spectacle. The marathon is meant to be a stress test for next-gen robots, evaluating everything from motor durability and joint flexibility to AI control systems under real-world conditions. Robots in human spaces? A trend that's only growing. All of these developments, from clones proto-clone to Unitary's boxing match and the Beijing half marathon, point toward one clear trend. Robots are steadily moving into human environments. They're not perfect yet, some can't walk. Others trip over themselves trying to dance or fight. And plenty of people find them creepy, impractical, or gimmicky. But with every prototype, every test, and every glitchy performance, we're getting closer to a reality where humanoid robots are part of everyday life. Some experts argue that the human form factor actually makes a lot of sense. Our world, from door handles to staircases, is designed for bodies like ours. If robots are to be useful household helpers, delivery assistants, or even caregivers, a human-like design may be the most logical choice. Others worry we're playing God, building machines that mimic our bodies without fully understanding the ethical or social consequences. After all, where do we draw the line between functional technology and artificial life? So what do you think? Are we building helpful machines that will clean our homes and jog beside us? Or are we on the verge of unleashing something far more complicated, even dangerous? Would you let one of these humanoid robots live in your house, help you cook dinner or fold laundry? Or would you smash the power button the moment it blinked at you? One thing's for sure, robots are here and they're only getting harder to ignore. If you enjoyed video of the uncanny world of humanoid robots, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on what's coming next. And if you're serious about leveling up your content or brand in this AI-powered world, you need to check out Judy F Marketing. Whether you're a creator, entrepreneur, or just curious about how to use marketing smarter, judyfmarketing.com is your go-to for tips, tools, and strategies that actually work. Catch you in the next video, and stay curious.